Hello and welcome to this presentation on the course Management Science and Information Systems Studies or EMSIS. Uh, my name is Simon Wilson and I'm the EMSIS course director uh, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the program and whether it's for you. So first of all, um, is EMSIS the course for you? So think about the following questions. Uh, do you like technology? Uh, have you a passion for business? Uh, have you a solid mathematical ability? Have you heard about data science and are interested in a career in it? Um, if the answer to most or all of these questions is yes, then EMSIS could be the course for you. So EMSIS is built really on four pillars um, that we combine into the, into the complete program. Um, the first is business methods. So um, you'll learn a lot about how businesses operate and work. Uh, you'll also learn a little bit of economics as well. Um, you learn quite a lot of quantitative techniques. By that mean, we mean uh, using maths and statistics to solve problems. Uh, you learn quite a lot of uh, information technology, so about using computers to um, implement solutions to problems. And finally, you learn personal skills. So you'll do a lot of team working, uh, report writing, present, presenting your work and so on. Uh, so you understand better how to do that uh, when you go out and, and um, start a career. Uh, I'll say a little bit about EMSIS and data science. So uh, you may have come across the term data science. It's the, it's the technology behind uh, how most of the big IT companies um, that we have today uh, work and run their business. And it's a combination of statistics, mathematics, computer science and information systems, bringing all those different fields together to solve uh, problems. And it's really behind the technology that brings you a lot of the ways that, that allow the internet to work. So internet search is a good example of a data science problem. Uh, recommender systems, so these are the things that um, Amazon and Netflix and others use uh, to suggest to you what you might buy next or watch next. Internet advertising, targeting and pricing, so all the big internet companies rely on advertising for their income uh, and so how to target adverts properly and how to price them is a really important problem for them. Uh, and data science is behind the methods that they use to solve those problems. And finally, route finding. So if you use Google Maps to get directions, um, behind that direction finding is a, is, a, is a data science algorithm. EMSIS will teach you many of the skills you would need for a career in data science, um, but also through all these personal skills that you're learning, it gives you the background um, to uh, present those solutions to others and work in teams to, to get a good solution working. Um, and those skills are important in data science as, as they are in any other career. Here's an example of a, of a sort of a data science or an EMSIS type problem. So uh, suppose you're trying to schedule flights for an airline. Um, if you start to think about that, you realize that you need to do things like forecast bookings. How many seats do I think I will fill on different routes at different times? Uh, you need to keep track of where your aircraft are, so they're in the right place at the right time to fly. You need to schedule your crew uh, so that you have the properly uh, trained crew in the right place at the right time for each flight. Um, you need to be aware of how long fly flying uh, will take. Uh, you need to make sure the right aircraft with the right capacity and ranges are in the right place. And then you need to be able to reschedule things rapidly in case there's a problem like a plane that can't fly for some mechanical reason or otherwise. So all those sorts of problems are things that um, EMSIS would teach you how to solve. So how do we teach EMSIS? So we really emphasize in the first few years a firm theoretical base. Uh, so you'll be doing quite a lot of maths, uh, basic statistics, basics of um, business and economics, really giving you that firm theory behind which, which you're going to use later um, uh, when you start solving problems in practice. Um, you'll take classes with uh, lots of other groups of students. So for example, you do your mathematics classes with engineers, uh, you take your programming classes with computer scientists and so on. So you'll get to take classes with lots of different groups of students. Um, we really try to make sure all the subjects that you learn are integrated and, and and reinforce each other and are useful um, towards each other, particularly later on in the programme. Um, 
Again, later on in the program, there'll be lots of learning in teams and solving problems in teams. And computers are ubiquitous in the program, so you will be using those in almost every, every class that you take. And then we really try to emphasize the linkage between the theory that you get, particularly in the first few years, and then the practice uh, to solve problems that you see in the later years. And that comes through case studies, uh, role-playing, uh, practical projects, and things like that. Here's an overview of the program. So it's a four-year full-time program, like most BA degrees in Trinity College. Um, and you see that in the first couple of years, uh, there's no choice really in what classes you take. It's, it's all mandatory, uh, mainly classwork uh, with some group working and really focusing on the foundations of theory. When you get into year three and four, you have some options in what uh, subjects you can study. Uh, and there's an increasing amount of teamwork and group projects, things like that. Year four also has a very large individual project with a, with a real client, um, where you go out and use the methods that you've been learning uh, to solve a real problem. If we look at what you would teach in year, what you would be taught in year one, uh, these are the current modules in, in year one of EMSIS. So you'll see there are some quantitative methods courses there, so statistical analysis, management science, mathematics, there's some computer science, information technology uh, courses, programming and software, and there's some business and economics uh, courses as well. Um, not so much on personal skills in year one, but that certainly comes in later on in the program. So what do EMSIS graduates end up doing, pursuing as a career? So this is really varied over time, but, but in the last few years, uh, I would say most students have gone off uh, and started careers in management consulting, the likes of Accenture and um, uh, Deloitte and so on. Um, the big IT companies, Google, Facebook, etc. Uh, certainly EMSA students go into, into those companies. Not as important as it was, but still, still a place our students go is accounting and actuarial uh, career, uh, financial services, investment banking and so on. Um, a lot of our students are now uh, starting careers in data science, usually through uh, management consulting or IT companies. And increasingly, we're seeing students actually just strike out on their own with their own business uh, or joining a small startup or something like that straight out of, straight out of the program. And of course, over the years, we've had lots of, uh, say, let's say, more unusual careers given, given the nature of our program. Um, so really, you might say that um, EMSIS doesn't really uh, discount any, any particular career you might want to do in the, in the future. Uh, here are some of the companies that our graduates have uh, been going to in the last few years. That's certainly not an exhaustive list, list but it gives you a good idea of the sorts of places that most of our students uh, are going after, after graduating. This is a quote from a current student, so I'll, I'll let you read it. but. Um, it, it really just backs up what we, be, what we try to do with this program. Um, that's the strong theoretical background uh, leading up to being able to think critically and problem solve um, in lots and lots of different practical situations. So finally, here's some important information on the program if you do want to apply. Uh, so the course code for the CAO is TR034. Um, points for 2019 um, were very high, 589. Uh, this, in fact, is third in Trinity. Only, only dentistry and medicine uh, needed more points. So very high points at the minute for this program, reflecting um, its popularity as a, as a, as a program, really. Uh, it's also due to the small quota. So we only have about 30 students a year, maybe 35 at most. Um, so it's really quite a small uh, group. Um, the only other leaving certificate requirement is a C3 in Honor Maths. Uh, you, there's no requirement to have done business or accounting or economics in the, in the leaving cert. Um, you certainly don't need to be a mathematical genius to, to do EMSIS, but uh, you need to be reasonably solid in maths with good numeracy, and that's why we have the, the Honor Maths requirement um, uh, to, to do EMSIS. Well, uh, thank you very much for your interest in our program. Um, if you have any further questions, then feel free to contact me, Simon Wilson, in Trinity College, um, uh, or uh, contact the School of Computer Science and Statistics in Trinity College, where the program is based, 
Uh, contact details can be found on the Trinity College website. Thank you. Thank you.